Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? Just one more little trade recap video here to end the day. So as you guys saw in the YouTube recording from the AM session, I ended up red in the morning down about 200 bucks on the account, nothing crazy. Um, getting stopped out here and then obviously getting back in, getting one take profit, stopped at break even again. <clears throat> These were just, uh, obviously I took a long here. Um, and then I did try a short here which is so funny because I uh, took a short here on the three minute chart, didn't really like it, was kind of second guessing it, so I closed it for like a little bit of profit here because I was just, I'm like, I don't really care for the time of day. I, I feel like we could sell off, but I just wasn't too sure. Sure enough, I closed the trade and it just tanks. So that kind of sucked. But um, after seeing it rebalance this entire range from this morning right we came down and we hit a four hour order block okay so let me just scale in here quick to the four hour i'm gonna hide these drawings for a moment just so you guys can see so we came down and notice how we tapped off this four hour order block these last two consecutive down close candles this is the four hour order block we ended up hitting the the last candle right at the body and then we just started flying and the four hour candle notice how the four hour candle ended up, this is an inverse fair value gap right here. So fair value gap there. Notice how that gets respected. The wick does the damage, body tells the story, comes up, closes all the way up here, uh, which is just crazy. But as we drop back down in time frame, and I turn these drawings back on, um, this is what I was seeing, was we came down rebalanced and seeing this 15 minute candle fly like this, I'm like, okay, we are, most likely be making the next draw up here. The next draw is probably high of day. And I originally wanted to hold for that. Uh, I'll get into why I didn't here in a second. But uh, continuing to scale in here, one of the things that I pointed out to the Discord because somebody had mentioned that they liked the five minute BPR, right? So five minute BPR is right down here. You can see how it lines up again with equilibrium 50%. So I'm like, well, this whole thing is one big imbalance. And this is the four hour IFVG. So I'm like, now that we're back above that, I really don't care to see price trade below it again, right? And if we were gonna come down to this five minute BPR, in my opinion, I feel like we're probably just gonna go lower. So I'm looking and I see this 10 minute uh, BPR right here. And I told the Discord that I wanted to also see on a smaller time frame internal AMD, accumulation, manipulation, distribution. And we got that. So right here, price uh, was accumulating and then we see a quick sell-off to take all these internal lows we tap in to the 10 minute bpr and now all i'm waiting to see is do we just displace lower or are we going to break structure are we going to inverse a bearish pd array to then we to look for longs and that's what happened so we came up here um inversed this one minute bearish fair value gap and then as you guys can see as price pulled back into the inverse fair value gap grab the entry long and the initial idea for me was that i was going to remove risk here no matter what after this lower resistance liquidity run uh, once we took out this high and hit this inefficiency over here i wanted to remove my risk either way and i wanted this high right here to be tp1 and then i was going to hold for high of day um, what ended up happening was price came up and we hit uh, 2 to 2.5 standard deviation, or I'm sorry, what am I saying? 2.5 R on the trade. I noticed that we were starting to form some SMT with ES. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take one off and then I'm going to hold. So I took one off, removed my risk, obviously, and then I'm holding. My, my plan was to hold for the high of day. Um, and then truth be told, I just totally forgot that there was an FOMC member speaking in the afternoon. And I ended up closing this trade after it hit this buy side level and it hit 4R. I closed it because we were literally, like the FOMC member was speaking, starting to speak here. Right here is where the FOMC member was starting to speak. So I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna have some crazy stuff happen where this thing just like sells all the way back off, retests, you know, maybe the higher time frame imbalance and then completes the move later in the day. It seems like the market's been completing the moves like right at the end of the trading day recently. So I just took my profit off the table. And as of right this second, it's looking like that was the right move because we have yet to go take out that high. We did go a little bit further, 
Um, but we're mostly just kind of accumulating now um, and almost looking a little bit like seek and destroy conditions over here, which again, just kind of has been the way things have gone as of lately. So yeah, guys, this is the trade. Um, walking away on the day up uh, about $1,700 on the account, a little over 1% uh, made uh, with these two contracts long that I took here. So guys, hopefully you did well today. Uh, that is it for me, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.